The election fever heats up in the Philippines as candidates begin filing their certificates of candidacy Thursday, October 11. The midterm polls is seen as a referendum on President Rodrigo Duterte's government. The filing of COCs will run from October 11 to 17, excluding weekends. Commission on Elections spokesperson James Jimenez says, We don't want to turn it into a circus of supporters. More than 18,000 national and local positions will be up for grabs on May 13, 2019. The following elective seats will be available. Early Bird Senator Coco Pimentel and singer Freddy Aguilar are among the first to file their Certificates of Candidacy or COC at the Commission on Elections on Thursday. Para po mawala na to sa isip ko dahil ako yung ikakasal next week. <laughs> Kailangan na atensyon ko naman doon naman sa aking personal na, na, na plano. He will be married to fiancé Anna Katrina Yu on October 18. Aguilar says he is running for senator under President Rodrigo Duterte's party, PDP Laban. He says people have been trying to convince him the past 40 years. Follow Rappler.com for updates. The House of Representatives will put Vice President Lenny Robredo back into the line of succession during the shift to federalism under its draft constitution. Lawmakers unanimously accept the motion of Cebu City 1st District Representative Raul Del Mar to bring the draft back to the House Committee on Constitutional Amendments. The panel can now amend the section which puts the Senate President, not the Vice President, as next in line. House Constitutional Amendments Chair Vicente Velosa earlier defended the move, arguing that removing the Vice President in the line of succession aims to avoid instability from the ongoing electoral protest filed by ex-Senator Bongbong Marcos against Lenny Robredo. Robredo says the draft indicates her critics are too desperate, but Senators already rejected the draft, saying it will be dead on arrival at the Senate. Mm -hmm. 